efforts to reposition its operations and drive efficiency, the cement company of northern Nigeria engaged stakeholders and investment community on the plan merger with the Kalambina plant. Director of the CCNN, Mr. Kabiru Rabiu, and Shola Karena, Executive Director of Stambik IBTC Capital, shared the reason for the merger and benefits it will bring to the value chain of the cement company. We have received a lot of you know, questions and, you know, uh, from different angles seeking clarification on why do we even need to match these two entities. So number one is increased cement production capacity. We all know that CCNN is to the door plant, the smallest you know, uh, cement plant in Nigeria. With 500,000 tons capacity, <coughs> it is the smallest, even Ashaka, which, you know, is uh, similar in age, is 600,000, you know, uh, tons. So we thought as a board, you know, there was need at the time to, you know, increase, you know, the capacity. So this merger, what you to do at least, it will give CCNN, you know, the, the opportunity to also have the you know capacities and the economies of scale to be able to compete with much larger cement you know uh, plants in Nigeria. So the merger with Columbia Cement provides access to increased cement production capacity as a combined entity of two million tons, which is four times the current installed capacity of CCNN, thereby reducing its fixed cost that is actually very high based on 500,000 tons you know capacity. Another advantage is energy cost reduction and broadening energy mix. Like I said earlier, CCNN is the only cement plant in Nigeria that relies 100% of on low poor fuel oil and diesel. Other cement plants such as Obadana, Ibeshi, as well as you know other cements are all using natural uh, natural gas, while um, while Ashaka Cement is also using using coal. So CCN actually is the only company in Nigeria that is reliant heavily and solely on LPFO. And this matter what it does, it you know afford the company the opportunity to now use other energy sources as well as energy mix. The matter provides an opportunity to expand footprint into new markets and geographies with export potential to neighboring countries as the Columbia plant is located only 180, 180 kilometers away from the border, where otherwise the company was unable to reach due to the production constraints. So the merger creates significant value for all stakeholders. A transaction to benefit all stakeholders and position the large CCN for long-term sustainable growth. So we can see the benefits to the shareholders, to the customers, as well as you know the employees which is which are actually quiet i think one point um to highlight at this point is that the core shareholder of ccnn is not going to vote um so ultimately this transaction is going to be decided by the um minority shareholder base um of of, of ccn and i think um the expect the reason why this step was taken was to ensure that you know um, governance standards were, were at the highest levels. Um, the expectation is that if um, the shareholders, and in this case the minority, uh, minority shareholders, deem it fit to proceed with the transaction, um, you would have one in large CCNN that would um, hold the combined um, uh, businesses of both um, CCNN and, and um, Kalambina. Um, the expectation is that the uh, um, shareholder meetings would happen on the 29th of November for both entities and subject to the outcome of the, the meetings, um, the next steps um, that would be taken will be getting the SEC and the NSC's final approvals as well as getting the, the sanction of the, the merger and then subsequently the um, issuance and listing of the additional shares to be issued. Um, so these are the broad dates that we're working with, given the um, um, dates that we've scheduled for the meetings. Um, the expectation is that the effective date um, will be about the 28th of December, with the final steps to conclude the listing of the new shares being issued uh, potentially completed early in January. As we know, the reality is that this is all subject to the timing of the regulatory approvals and uh, the court sittings. Um, but um, these are indicative dates um, based on 
uh, where we are today. It is clear from this forum that the days ahead will be critical for CCNN and its major plan with the Kalambaina cement plant. This is indeed a strategic deal that will go a long way in expanding its market share in northern Nigeria and West Africa.